Hi, happy birthday Capricorn. Oh my god, I've got birthday in nine days or something. Today in nine days, yes. It's the last day of the Capricorn season, but more it's about you. Sorry. <laughs> and this is your January reading for 2021. I create a sacred place here, being grounded, focused, connecting my energy to Capricorn's timeline for 2021, sun rising moon, whatever they need to hear from the divine. Ooh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm high vibe, almost falling down. Great mood. Um, sorry for giving you whatever. Uh, let's see, Capricorn, what is coming through? They tell me to shuffle like that, okay? Capricorn. Wow, this is so divine. I think I already saw the card. Is there a supportive message? Yes, cornucopia. I knew it. I did. It's 111, 111, 11. Wow. Okay, Capricorn, this is your season, babe. Um, there's a supportive message coming from that one here. But I think just in general, uh, harvest, 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 freshening, harvest, freshening. Financial material. Look how gently and beautiful it fell on this card. This is no joke. And there's a supportive message here as well. Foundation achievements, yes. Look, I think right now this fruit here, all these fruits, all this harvest, everything, this is your foundation for this big ass fruit salad that you're going to create on January. And then you're going to serve and serve and share with the world and create even more, like get the seeds from the fruits and order everything, you know, and um, ground them, seal them again onto the, onto the ground and water and nurture them again so it's becoming exponentially growth. Capricorn. I mean it. Five pentacles change for um, spirits as in spiritual theme. Uh, foundation. 2020 was the foundation with numerology 4. 2021 is numerology 5. Yes. You feel it, I know. And this is all about changes. All about great changes in the duality. Um, finances, your materialistic world, you taking initiation, you conquering all the five elements, spirit, earth, water, fire, air, it's all in your hands. You feel like Sailor Moon and you can just like make up, you know, and you're transforming and you're like becoming this warrior. <laughs> Will you feel me? It's, it's, it's exactly this energy. It's exactly that. Literally, do you know Sailor Moon and the like whenever they're transforming to their like this is an anime But they're transforming to their To their fighter to their soul warrior kind of thing like fighting against dark energies They're doing exactly that hand posture and then it turns out to be full with nail polish and everyone like, every sailor warrior represents a planet You are sailor Saturn Capricorn however, however um, Back to this reading. It's it's beautiful um, you're also freeing yourself, you're creating a foundation as I said, and this, just like work on that, okay? Don't feel overflowed, don't feel overwhelmed. It's like I see all these fruits, I don't know where to start eating, step by step. And this, this metaphor as fruits can be business, can be clients, can be money, can be just like having so much and right now feeling overwhelmed because you are someone that provides for long term, that works for long term. And now you reap the rewards and harvest and you know it's like okay like I need to invest it wisely I need to create something with that maybe even there's a change and move happening maybe you buy yourself a house or like being very close with your family you know like take how this resonates maybe creating even a family in this new place that you're moving to because I just see you alone on your own and then this card came you know is there any more, any more energies for Capricorn? What is coming through? January. <gasps> oh my god. The card disappeared. Where are you? Oh my holy. I think this was Archangel Michael, but he disappeared. However, those cards fell as well. Angel of Love. Blossoming Abundance. Oh my god. And Journal Strategy. I got goosebumps, Capricorns. 
keep working on loving yourself, investing into yourself, okay? There is unexpected wealth coming. So I think even the money that you gained so far, I mean, of course, save it, but also invest. Do wise investments into yourself, into your self-love, and um, into long-term thinking. And keep keep going with having this, like, keep having this, like, keep... Keep, like, continuing to do what you have been doing the whole time. Like, maybe even having a journal, writing down some things, affirmations self-love notes letters towards to yourself maybe you have a business started in regards to writing something in regards to being a writer mm, keep going with that okay because there's unexpected wealth coming expansion growth creativity holy okay i, I want to go with the usual tarot card deck that i'm always using january capricorn Ace of Swords and King of Swords. Like I see two aces, actually three with the spirit here. This is the higher self, okay? This is like receiving intuition, taking decision on based on the King of Swords is very intuitive. He just sees black or white. Maybe you have dealt with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with an air sign, or you have some air placements in your chart, Sun Rising Moon. It might be as well, it's just like you being very intuitive in this season, in this month. Because Capricorn season is till the 19th of January and this is like for whole January there is something you will take initiation there's something like an idea there's something like I think literally Capricorn you're just so motivated to finally you know like being so like full of excitement and eager you don't grab the sword on the grip you grab it on the blade and you start bleeding for what is important for you and that's the thing about your energy this month. There's something you will receive as an idea, as a new beginning, mentally even. Maybe you've already received it and you're bleeding for it, you're sweating for it, you, you're investing, you're like doing your all and this is exactly how you need to continue because there's so much more coming from that. Wheel of Fortune, bottom of the deck, just seeing and here's Capricorn, just saying, it's not planned, it's just like me naturally, oh my god, and 1010, completion, the wheel is turning for you, there's so much more, there's so many helping hands here, angels, just like keep having the sword in your hands, do you see that? Yes, the same sword here, the same sword here, amazing, goosebumps, I swear all over my body goosebumps, let's see what the angels have to tell you. Wow, peaceful warrior. Don't hate, meditate. So maybe you have been going through some things, maybe in your place where you live in, with your family or whoever. Um, just keep spreading your light. Don't hate on anyone. Try to just like be with yourself to meditate, to overcome that. It might be that people feel triggered with you. Just like keep continuing the way you are. Taking decisions, the King of Swords is someone that decides from intuition, he is not blended by emotion, he really knows, he uses emotions as an indicator, but he, you know, like he sees like what is truthful and what is not truthful, and what relates to his energy and what not. So I think you will definitely be um, triggering some people with the way you are simply, but it's okay, you know, it's like, whatever. Let's see what kind of notes are coming for you. Capricorn. Oh my holy. You already fall out? Okay. And there's also one here that wants to come out, I think. Um, let's go with the first two ones. They fell on the angel prayer deck. Here they are. End of the month. Okay, what's happening there? <laughs> Your presence enlightens every room and table, but what's happening end of the month? Oh my god, why is my Google speaking? 
Okay, my Google just stopped. That's so weird. You're on the right path. Keep going. 11, 11. Beautiful. And there's also an 11 here. And we were talking about 11, 11, I think, in the beginning of the video. I'm not sure right now. I said something about 11. However, um, April, Arius. So keep going, there's big, big, big changes happening in April for you. Maybe you've dealt with an Arius. But I wanna see like what is happening at the end of the month. Um, I wanna grab the energy or because we still got the, at least one minute, okay? End of the month, you know, what, what, what kind of energy is here? End of the month, Capricorn. Why is this note here? Clarify, please. Okay, woman holding a heart. Maybe you're meeting an Arias. It literally fell on that card. 44. Hey, Google. Angel number 44, meaning. On the website sunsigns.org, they say, Angel number 444 spiritually signifies a higher purpose. It stands for honesty, health, determination, success, inner wisdom, intuition, and confidence. Through this number, angels are by your side in everything that you do. Okay, wow. Well, I said 44, but they Google wanted to use 444, which is fine for me though. You're going to meet someone new. And um, yeah, keep embracing change, cabbies. I love you so much. I send you so much love. Again, the wheel is turning. The wheel, the wheel of fortune is turning for you. Um, again, bye, share, like, tag, subscribe. I love you guys.